There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued, and the prospect of actually knowing the world around us a foreign concept. Every day it is possible to find something new and exciting, big or small, in your own backyard or in the most extreme places on Earth. Some take us to different planets and tell us about the cosmos, some tell us about our history and where we came from, but most leave us eager to learn more. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be trying to explain the seemingly impossible with three groundbreaking discoveries. Bolivian forest reveals 20 species new to science. Sometimes it is hard to comprehend how many species still exist in the world, totally unknown and uncategorized by science. But every now and then a windfall of new species will emerge that reminds us just how much we still must discover about the world in which we live. Recently, a large scientific expedition went into the foothills of the Bolivian Andes Mountains called Cloud Forest due to the ever-present shroud of mist cloaking it and revealed an astonishing 20 new species to scientists. The 14-day expedition consisted of researchers from both Bolivian and international institutions and delved deep into the 3,000-meter-high Zongo Valley in the Cordillera Real mountain range. The expedition encountered an astonishing amount of biodiversity within the lush valley and catalogued over 1,200 species total identifying 770 that had not been found in that area of the world before, and 20 that were entirely new to science. Among the species discovered were a new species of venomous pit viper, four new butterfly species, and the Bolivian flag snake. Additionally, the team encountered a species of frog known as the devil-eyed frog, which has only ever been documented once and was thought to be extinct a frog known as the Lilliputian frog, which measures an incredible one centimeter in length, and a type of butterfly that had not been seen in almost 100 years. Additionally, there were 750 plant species identified, with 13 being classified as newly discovered. Among them were four new species of orchids and two plants that had not been seen in over a century. The discovery of so many species that had not been seen for decades along with dozens of brand new species, gives the researchers hope in the face of a concerning decrease in biodiversity across the planet. There is now hope that other, pristine natural conditions could exist elsewhere in the world, housing undiscovered and long-forgotten species away from the prying eyes of humans. One of the most amazing aspects of these discoveries is not simply how many species were catalogued during the expedition, but also how close human society is to the location particularly the large Bolivian capital city, La Paz. Often, discoveries of this nature and magnitude result from daring expeditions into the far reaches of the wilds, where humans are a distant presence who have not begun to encroach upon the landscape. Although La Paz is virtually at the Zongo Valley's doorstep, the seemingly undiminished diversity of the hidden valley is unmatched, and officials have taken steps to work with the Conservation International Team and La Paz to perform a comprehensive assessment of the biodiversity within the valley so that the incredible amount of life flourishing within can be protected. After this expedition, the Bolivian cloud forest has certainly established itself as a biodiversity hotspot and now scientists are concerned with how to protect this pristine space on Earth for posterity in the face of ever-expanding human society. Scientists just discovered a worm living inside poisonous sulfur caves. Our world contains some scary places, extreme conditions that could harm us in an instant. A series of caves in Colorado are one of these places. Filled with poisonous sulfur gas, if a human were to visit, the gas would be enough to be fatal, but the sulfuric acid that drips down is strong enough to burn holes through protective layers. Yet, despite these extreme conditions, life has been found thriving in these caves. Extremophiles, that is the name we give to animals and plants that manage to live in geochemically extreme conditions, those places on Earth where you would expect to find nothing. Scientists discovered a new species of cave worm lurking here. They are blood red and measure only an inch in length and are as wide as pencil lead. These red translucent worms have been found on the cave walls in clumps together. 
These worms were first spotted in 2007, but it took more than 1,000 hours of lab work to conduct all the necessary research and find the needed information to recognize them as a new species. Within the cave, these worms eat sulfur-oxidizing bacteria. Worms and bacteria are not all that is in the cave. There are also spiders, flies, beetles, and several other insects that are able to survive in these toxic conditions, meaning they have made an ecosystem they can manage from within their poisonous group. We know extreme ecosystems can form, like those we have seen in deep-sea volcanic vents, though it is estimated that these hydrogen sulfide levels are ten times higher than those found in the deep-sea vents. We can see that life can clearly survive in a number of toxic environments, and food chains can exist entirely separately within this cave, sustaining itself. These frightening red worms may be small, but withstanding these conditions, they are clearly tough. China is building a smog-eating forest city. Pollution is something impacting every corner of our Earth. While messages to care for our environment often feature pleas to save Arctic animals, like our friends the polar bears, it is not just the Arctic that is suffering. In some places, the air pollution is becoming so severe that the air is considered unhealthy for humans. One of these places is Nanjing, in the east of China. We use the air quality index to assess the safety of the air. This uses a scale of 0 to 500, with higher numbers showing worse pollution. Even without the air quality index, it is clear to see that there is thick smog in Nanjing, as in many urban cities, but the air quality clocks in at a whopping 132, meaning it is considered unhealthy, especially for members of the public with respiratory diseases and illnesses. Stefano Berry Arcacetti, an Italian design firm, has a plan to help reduce the smog and air pollution in cities. The company thinks towers of plants could help bring us closer to a safer environment. The company built two skyscrapers covered in flora, bringing in 1,100 trees and 2,500 cascading shrubs on rooftops and balconies. Named the Nanjing Green Towers, they now stand tall, helping the city since their construction, beginning in 2017. Stefano Berry Arcacetti built a similar two-tower complex in Milan, with others popping up across the world, such as in Switzerland. These towers are just the start. They aim to have a forest city created in Nanjing that features multiple skyscrapers like these towers, with lots of green space, creating as much improvement as possible. These vertical forests are a brilliant idea. They are space-conscious, yet help our environment, collecting 25 tonnes of carbon dioxide each year and producing 60 kilograms of oxygen each day, per tower. However, 4.7 metric tonnes of carbon dioxide are produced by the average vehicle annually, meaning the towers only cancel out five cars each. This is why a forest city could take these slight improvements to a huge leap forward. These ideas and designs sound incredibly futuristic, they are becoming incredibly necessary. The climate crisis is happening now, and change needs to happen. Plants and forests can help, but each of our actions count too. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.